Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. If you're new to the channel, I'm Todd. And I'm Carla. And today we have something special to show you. Yes, we're wrapping up a trip from out west and we're um, camping in our new to us 2020 Lance 1172. So we wanted to give you a quick tour. It's been three weeks in it. We've been enjoying it very much. And uh, if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll tell you why we changed from the Bigfoot truck camper to the Lance. Stick around. can't make everybody happy all the time when we do these tour videos. Some people want to watch the inside of the camper first, some people want to watch the outside first. So in this case, we're going to start with the outside. So if you want to see the inside first, you can jump forward and check that out and then come back. So we're just going to kind of walk around the outside of the truck and the camper and just kind of show you a quick overview of what, what we got here on this uh, 2020 Lance uh, 1172. The truck itself is a 2022 Ram 4500. It's got the 6.7 liter Cummins uh, turbo diesel engine in it, 410 gears, so that's the basics of the truck. We did add the skirted bed to the truck uh, because we wanted the extra storage uh, boxes on that. So what we do with the, with the truck, with the truck bed is, I just, on this one, I just have like a toolbox and a bunch of junk in there really. Uh, but we, I do mainly use this uh, bed for uh, the camper stuff. So, like in the rear box, this is where we keep all of our uh, blocks that we put underneath the tires, front and rear, and I cut um, some two by eights and uh, just put a 45 on them and then I got some regular standard blocks too. So. so that's what we use on this side of the truck bed. And then the rails, if you watched the video on that in the past, uh, did build the rails. Um, so that way we can just kind of throw some stuff in behind the rails and, uh, and they won't blow out they've just got some rugs and ladders or stool and that sort of thing so so behind the bed rail what i did here was i just built just a, a box out of some uh, two by sixes it's actually removable you can move it around right now i do have the the truck camper uh, loosened up on all four corners because they have the legs down to just kind of stable it out a little bit. So I built these so that if the camper was to slide a little bit, it would bump up against the rail that goes down into the stake pockets of the bed. So that would really keep the camper from sliding one way or the other if there was a real bad bump. So that's just one thing I, I did here on the side. And then we can throw stuff inside the box there and just kind of holds it still. So. On the outside of the camper, just run around the, the basic stuff of the camper. Uh, electric, gas, uh, six gallon water heater, outdoor speakers. Uh, it does have the, uh, the water pump access. It's really easy to get to. So you can get to that and uh, be able to winterize it really easy. This is the, uh, the fresh water fill for the fresh water tank. Uh, fresh water fill on, is on this side for the tank. City water connection is on the other side of the camper. It has just a standard outlet. And here are the, the two 30 pound propane tanks. So it does hold a lot of uh, propane on this 1172, which you do really like. Uh, one feature that Carl and I really like about the 2020 model over the newer 2022s is that it actually has the glass windows, the thermopane glass windows, as opposed to the acrylic. The acrylic windows are nice, but we've had them before, and we do know that they can scratch and that sort of thing. Not trying to put them down. They do open up real nice, which is great, but I just like the look of the glass, and uh, they work well for us, so we've been happy with that. Uh, move on around, uh, just the furnace. Uh, it's got the ducted heating in the camper. Super quiet and it works great. 
and like on our Lance 975, it does have the digital uh, keyless entry, which we loved on our last 975, and uh, we're definitely enjoying it again, having it on this Lance 1172. So, and the one thing we really like about this model is it's got the uh, fold up steps. It just fold up and you just flip them back in and, and lock them away, so. And they're really adjustable. Yeah, they're they're adjustable on each on each side. So right now we have it adjusted out, and then just put our step there because with the truck up on the camper, it still sits up pretty high. If we choose to take the camper off the truck, we can lower it down real low to where all we use is the yellow step and don't even use the fold out step. So we'll move on around to the back. Oh well, one last thing is. We do have a 14 foot awning, powered awning on this camper with the wind sensor that will, you know, pull it back in. And it's got a, a light across the, the outside bar of the, of the awning. And this camper does have the, the lights on both sides as well as the back. They go from amber to white and uh, they work great at night. So. On the back of the camper, it has some additional what they call docking lights. Let's go check those out. Around back, we have one of the large slides to the camper. The 1172 has a driver's side slide and a rear slide. So uh, it makes for a lot of extra space inside. So we've been enjoying that. It does have the large heavy duty ladder on the back. We did mount our high boost antenna onto that. Uh, it's got the backup camera and as I was saying, the uh, docking lights, it has a two, two docking lights up there, which are super bright lights. We flip that switch, it's super bright. Or when you put the truck into reverse, when it's hooked up, those docking lights come on as well as the standard reverse lights. So it just floods the area with the uh, light when you're going in reverse at night, So, which works great. I love that, you know. Sometimes you just can't help but pull into the campground at night, and when you do, it makes all the difference. So, on the back side of the camper, as far as storage goes, I have the basement area, and it's a it's a big area. That uh, as you can tell, we got all of our stuff in there currently for traveling. We got a grill and some stands and uh, all kinds of stuff in there, tools and spare parts and, and that sort of thing. These things up here are some, uh, they are some stabilizers for the camper when we take it off of the truck and they work great. And uh, I'll show you those at another time. And, uh, but that's the, that's the basement. It's got a, the shelf will slide in and out. There's a light up here, uh, in case you need to get to it at night. So it's got a lot of storage area on the outside. So we've been enjoying that. Also on the back side is the the automatic transfer switch for the generator or shore power, as well as the uh, controller for the happy jacks. And finally on the back of the camper is the, the little storage tube for the drain hose that does not fit a normal size drain hose. So we don't even use it at all, but you could put some small stuff in there. So I'll walk on around to the passenger or the driver's side of the camper. On the driver's side of the camper, we have the large slide, which has the dinette and the refrigerator in it. But as well as the large slide, it has got some other features. Let's go check those out. And here is the 2,500 watt LP generator that runs off the two 30 pound propane tanks. And in this door, you got all the water connections and drains. You got the the two uh, drains there, you got your outdoor shower, the battery disconnect, the tank drains for the fresh water drain, that sort of thing. And it's got the cable TV connections there. So if, you're, if you want to hook up to the cable TV connections, there's a hole in the bottom that has a cap on it. You just run the cable up through the bottom and hook it in. And then that way you can still close the door if it rains. So, Underneath, I added the uh, sewer drain uh, hose holder down here, and uh, it's one of those that extends out. So I just uh, used one of the existing screws here, and then I drilled a hole and put another screw there 
to mount it on this side and then I ran it over basically to uh, the back side of the steps. So it's a really long one. You can put uh, the long hose in there. So that works out real well. It's been great on this trip. On the slide, there are two storage areas that you can get to from the outside. And one thing that I do like about them, as with all the doors, they have a magnet that holds the door up. So right now, uh, there's just empty storage in, uh, in both of these storage areas here. We haven't put anything in them, uh, but they're there if we need them. And uh, it, again, it's got the exterior light, the, the large window over the dinette, and the refrigerator vents. We do have the awning uh, or slide topper uh, for both slides. Uh, so that helps keep the debris off the top of, of the camper. Um, the, the Happy Jacks, it's got Happy Jacks on all four corners. The 4820 series is what they are. So uh, they've worked out great. We did add the six inch extensions to the Happy Jacks. And uh, that way with the camper being on our flatbed, uh, we can, it's a little bit easier because the, the flatbed of the truck is uh, six inches taller than the standard pickup bed that we had. So these extensions definitely help with the height of the extra height of the flatbed. And uh, they just bolt right on super easy. We were able to mount our spare tire in front of the camper. I mounted it to the headache rack of the flatbed and uh, built the spacer for the bumper for the camper. And it's worked out great. You want to find out some of the details on this camper? You can see on the exterior tag, it was built in 2019. However, it is a 2020 model. And there are some of the weights according to the label. However, if you want to find out the true weight, you can check out our last video called It Weighs What and find out what the camper truly weighs. And finally, for the outside, I want to show you what I got going on here as far as the with the storage on the flatbed on this side. So this side I mainly use for the all the camper stuff. So on this side, I, I put all of our water hose and uh, both water hoses and all of our extra connections and that sort of thing on this side, which has worked out great. That way it's accessible real fast. And then on this, this side of the flatbed, I put our connectors for our power cords. I got an extension to the power cords, a uh, bottle jack, and uh, I got a fire extinguisher, a large fire extinguisher in there as well. Just some, some general storage, but it's nice to have the uh, it's nice to have the, the power cords and the hose and everything ready so when we pull up to the campground I can just easily pull it out and hook it up. You don't have to dig for it. So let's go inside and Carly can show you around the inside. So before we go in and Carly's going to show you the inside, I'm going to show you the entrance way. It does have a very tall door which that's one thing I do love about the Lance Campers is it's a tall door and I'm six foot and I can stand all the way up. It's got two steps inside and underneath one of the steps is the battery area. We have two um, AGM 100 amp hour batteries in there. We don't have any special, special lithiums or anything, uh, but then they've worked out great for us. It did, like I said, it does have the two steps and it's got a handrail there on the side. Fire extinguisher, all your controls are over here. The, the two side lights for both sides of the camper as well as an entrance light. You can turn on as you come in. It's got the docking lights for the back and a switch for the uh, backup camera that we put in the truck and then the slide controller for the rear slide. So that's the entranceway. Let's go on in, check out the inside. All right, starting here at the front, when you first come in on your left, there's some storage there. Up top, there's a pantry with pull out shelves, a little bit of canned goods, all kinds of stuff there. Um, it has like an automatic light that clicks on whenever you open it. I kind of wish a lot of these had it in it, but just this one has that feature. Um, down here we have shelf storage. We store Taylor's dog food and some other things down there, grill items and that kind of thing. Um, I do like all the storage that this camper has. It's a whole lot like our 975 was in... Um, uh, with a little bit different orientation and I'll, as I walk around and show you, you can see along the back wall here is um, 
the, the slide is pretty much the whole wall here. Um, typically in this 1172, it comes with a um, two seat sofa kick out. Um, unfortunately in this one, someone had removed it and they put in some Rec Pro, Pro recliners. We took those out before our trip because they just didn't work well for us. Um, as you can see here, we've made Taylor a makeshift uh, perch so she can get up and look around outside, which she enjoys doing. And um, we're thinking about replacing it with the same sofa that comes in them. Todd's uh, contacted the gentleman from the company that makes those. So um, we'll update you guys later on that. Moving around, we have um, panoramic windows around the back, which we really are enjoying that. We have really enjoyed them on our trip because wherever we park, we can see um, everything around us. And then this is sort of um, an area that I've like put our laundry basket in and put, our, put a trash can in. It actually is sort of unused space, so it works out that we can put things that normally would kind of get in the way um, and get them out of the way. Moving on around to this side, we have um, a four-person dinette. Uh, this is the, the dinette along with the fridge is inside this slide along this back wall here, or side, the driver's side wall. And um, this is a really large dinette. Uh, compared to what we had in our Bigfoot, it's, you could comfortably see four people in this dinette. So uh, if we were ever camping and we want to have friends in for a meal or something, it's very easy to do that in this camper. Taylor tends to um, sleep under the dinette when we're traveling. She feels very comfortable under there so we started putting her bed down here before we go to bed at night and she really enjoys that area. Um, underneath each seat on the dinette we have um, th th their drawers that open up. They're pretty large. We've used them for storing our clothes during this trip. It, it's been a three week trip, so they've worked well for us to be able to easily access our, our clothes while we're traveling. Um, one other thing is this dinette is, or actually the, the fabric and, and this package is called Roadster. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Roadster, and right now we just have covers over these seats. Just to um, keep them clean. Just to keep them clean. They're in and, perfect shape. Yeah, they're in perfect shape. So we, we really like it, but this does, I like fabric, the way fabric feels on, you know, your skin. So I think it's more comfy that way. Um, we have a large fridge, is a 6.6 .6 cubic foot, I believe, yeah, or something like that. Six cubic foot. Pretty large. It's uh, been done well for all the groceries and things that we need for our travels. It's a three-way refrigerator. It's a three-way fridge. So gas, to, AC, and DC. Yeah, gas, AC, and DC. Um, here we have some uh, storage. I've put some shoes here, some videos, um, you know, tissues, whatever. Um, we have a. I don't, know what, I, don't know, I don't know what size it is. It's like, I think it's a 28 inch, but I'm not sure. And yeah. it swivels around. Swivels around, swivels to both sides. Um, we're, we've been very happy with it while we've been traveling. Uh, normally we don't watch TV when we travel, but we have watched a little bit on this trip and it's been nice to be able to do that. And play DVD. And play DVDs, yeah. Right. Moving over here to this wall, we have our um, all of our uh, water pump water heater, gas, water heater, electric. These are our tank levels. Tank level. Eventually we'll probably um, add the sea level into this camper like we did on our Bigfoot because we really feel like that does more accurately show the levels in the tanks. Yeah, the, yeah, the digital sea level, fantastic. Yeah. This is the generator controller. And then up here is the solar controller. I think I know what it's called. That's right. Okay. We haven't really done anything with the solar other than while we're traveling, we do um, run our refrigerator on D DC. DC. And it's been sort of, depending on the, the temperature outside, it's been kind of fluctuating as far as the temperature goes. But we'll talk more about that a little bit later on. All right, moving on around into the kitchen. This kitchen has been really enjoyable for me to cook in. Um, it has a little um, 
countertop kick out here. I don't really know what that's called, but um, I can lay things on here to do some prep whenever I'm cooking. It's also got the little uh, covers for the sink. It has a large um, bowl instead of the divided bowl in the sink area. It's got a stainless pull down faucet which we really enjoy that and now we don't have to replace it because it's got what we probably would have put in to begin with. Um, let's see, has the window in the kitchen area with metal blinds, uh, a lot of storage. The storage goes all the way back into the back corner there. You probably want to put things back there that you don't have to access frequently, but uh, that's you know, what we've done on this trip and it's worked out well. Up here we have um, more storage, kind of have things sort of thrown in there at the moment. And I also use the microwave for storage whenever I'm not using it. I don't use the microwave a whole lot, but um, when you know you want to heat up some soup or something like that, it's kind of nice to have as well. Stainless vent hood, it's got the fan and light, um, stainless top, three burner cooktop. It's got an oven, which I have a tendency to use an oven quite a bit for pizzas and uh, all kinds of stuff, potatoes, that kind of stuff. Um, has a drawer down here, which I use for like bags and stuff like that. Down here we have, uh, whenever we're uh, about to travel, I usually put our coffee maker down here and you know a few other things to. Uh, put in there while we're traveling. This is e real easy to put up and down. And then underneath it's got more storage. Doors, I put my forks and things in there and we'll move oil in there. All right, let's move on back to the bed area. All right, moving on back to the bed area. Um, starting off, we have this divider that you can open and close. Uh, if I'm up there sleeping, Todd can come out here, turn the TV on, close it up, and I can sleep comfortably and not hardly hear. Not really, you can hear through it, but. <laughs> um, this is a 60 by 80 queen bed. Uh, Todd fits in it very comfortably. He's six foot tall. That was one thing that we, one issue we had in the Bigfoot is that it was a smaller queen size bed. So this is very comfortable for both of us. Back over in the corner, as you'll see, there's some storage back there. There's a window with the day-night shades. One thing I did forget to mention up front is that it does have the day-night shades like we had in our other Lance. They're the MCD shades and they have a pull-down with the um, screen on them and then a pull-down with the uh, blackout, or it's got a, it's white, it's not really black, but. Uh, here we have a closet that's mirrored it's a little bit different than our 975 was um, because it does have a mirror on it. Our 975 did not have the mirror. The access to the uh, closet is a little bit difficult. So, you know, we put things in there like coats and things like that that we don't have to access very frequently to store them. One other storage area is over there in the corner. Todd can put some things like uh, his wallet and things over in that area. Another window with the day-night shades. It has the emergency exit access there. It has um, some shelving along the back there. It's a little bit unusual, unusable. We haven't really figured out what to do with that space yet, but it's there if we wanna use it for something. Up here is more storage. I found these little bins at Big Lots and they have worked out for Todd's socks and underwear. So that, Good little storage area there. Here's another um, cabinet with some shelving in it. We um, were having a little bit, or I was having a little bit of dif difficulty finding an area to put our junk drawer. So this is our junk drawer right there. <laughs> and then right there. And then some other things like games and things like that that we don't have to access very frequently. This is the DVD player. Um, it's been in just about every one of our campers, I think, at this point. The Jensen Radio uh, DVD player that has the app that you can connect to. So um, we're very familiar with that and have been able to use that while we're on the road, too. 
One thing I did forget to mention is that in the dinette, it also has two speakers and we also have two speakers on the outside underneath the awning. So we're, we're enjoying that. One other thing we wanted to mention is that um, we put the Froley in here. This is the six camper that we've moved it to. As if you guys may have seen one of our other videos where we talk about it. Um, if you haven't, we'll put a link below the video so you can see that. Um, one other thing I forgot to mention was that there's a skylight in the bed area. Um, it also has the day night um, shades on it. Da, da, da. And there's a vent up there that I also forgot to mention. That so heating duct. A, a heating duct. Yeah. So whenever you have the heat on, it blows warm air up there. All right. Last but not least, let me show you the bathroom. Heading into the bathroom, you have a mirror here on the door. A switch lock on the back of the door so you can lock yourself in if you need to. Once you get in the bathroom, you have a plastic lined shower in here. It's not the molded fiberglass like the, the Bigfoot is. You have an adjustable shower bar that allows you more space in the shower so that you can have room to move around a little bit. Three shelves here in the corner. Has an adjustable shower head with the switch to turn it on and off to conserve a little water. I put that soap, shampoo, and conditioner dispenser up there. Has a bar that you can hang stuff on, towels to dry, hang the shower curtain on to dry. It also has a skylight there that helps provide some light in the shower. And one other thing is it has a little area where you can sit down. I found it convenient to sit down there so I can shave my legs. The counter in the bathroom looks like the kitchen. Same uh, for mica or whatever it's called. Plastic sink, stainless faucet, big large mirror. I put those little toothbrush holders there. They've worked well for us during our travels. Have quite a bit of storage in here. There's the shed, uh, excuse me, there's the cabinet. Uh, underneath there is a hot water heater, toilet, a paper holder there. These, most of these doors that you've seen throughout the camper have these little locks on them like that. Has a large drawer here. Plastic Thetford toilet, pretty standard. Uh, medicine cabinet, pretty large medicine cabinet there. And then it has a light there with a switch to turn it off and on right beside the mirror. And then it has a fan there. That about wraps it up for the tour of our 2020 Lance 1172. We hope you enjoy the tour. And now for the big question that everybody's been asking us, and that is... Why did we switch from the Bigfoot to the Lance? That's right. That's, uh, it's really not that complicated. And uh, the answer is... Because there's more space with, with the slides in the Lance than there is the Bigfoot. Yeah, we just wanted more space, more room. Uh, the Bigfoot was great. We loved it. Uh, but it was just tight for the three of us with Taylor and um, If you know us, you know that we have always Loved molded fiberglass campers, but in this case um, You know, we just needed the space we knew we were getting ready to go on a three-week trip And so that would have it just worked out better for us. Yeah, I mean we love the the Bigfoot and we love Northern Lights, too and uh Neither one of them had just quite have the, the space uh, that makes us comfortable. So that's why we ended up changing back to Alliance. This time the 1172 before we had the 975, which was uh, much roomier than our uh, Northern Light or Bigfoot. However, it was smaller than uh, this Lance, so the 1172. So we decided if we're gonna get another one, we're gonna get the biggest one that they make. <laughs> and uh, I mean, there are some bigger uh, truck campers out there, but uh, this just really appealed to us so yeah as far as the layout it's just a really good layout we we love the 975 that we had before which is pretty much the same camper it just has the back slide um there are a few other differences too but um you know we love the space layout of that so. yeah i mean uh, the, the slides really haven't been a, a big deal for us i mean i know a lot of people hate them uh you know it's a kind of a love hate thing uh, i guess but when so far we don't really hate them we haven't had a problem with them we could possibly in the future 
Um, yeah. If we do, we'll just get them fixed or we'll fix them ourselves, you know, I mean, uh, but, you know, if you want the room, you want the space, they're fantastic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, I mean, they're, they're hard to beat when you, when you want, the, want the space. And, uh, and this camper has just really been comfortable for us to be in for the past three weeks. And yeah. we're looking forward to many more uh, trips in it. So yep. that's the answer. Uh, not, not, not a really a big deal. It's uh, not a mystery or anything like that. Yeah. But, you know, we, we didn't like one more than the other. You know, I know a lot of people are like, why did you switch? Was the big is the Bigfoot better? Is the Lance better? Is you know what the Northern Light better? It, they're really it, it just depends on what's right. Yeah, for they're, you. they're all good campers. Yeah. They really are. Uh, you know, no no gripes about any of them. I love all of them. They're just uh, different uh, campers and you know different layouts and just kind of find what works for you. And for us, uh, the the roominess of the Lance campers have been great. Uh, being with with my size and my height. Uh, it's just in the longer bed and the Lance has a 60 by 80 inch bed. Longer bed, bed has definitely made me more com comfortable than in like the Bigfoot, which had a shorter bed. So. The longer bed, the more floor space, and the st also the steps coming yeah. into the camper also provide headroom yeah. for Todd. And for, for room for Taylor to lay around on the floor if she She's wants happy. to. So it, it's all been good. So, so that's the answer. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the tour. And uh, we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.